Number 27. Number 27 is kind of weird, and we did problems like this before, but it was a heart. It says C diamond D. Okay, now, we don't know what the heck the diamond is until we look over here. The diamond tells us what the operation is going on. So it's saying whenever you have a diamond in between two numbers, what you're going to do is multiply those two numbers and then multiply them times two and then divide them by the second number. So here it says evaluate four diamond uh, two. So if I just kind of mirror what's going on up top, I see the two, the two is going to stay there. Okay, and then the C represents the four. So times four. And then the D represents the 2. So now that means I have to multiply times 2 as well. Okay, so see we got 2 times CD. So CD is just 4 and 2. Okay, then we have to divide by the D1, which is the 2. So divide this by 2. And then we'd be done. So I notice that since I've got a, a multiplication up top and a 2 on the top and the bottom, those can divide out. So really it's just 2 times 4, which is 8. That would be the answer for that one. Okay, next it says solve the equation. So whenever it says solve, I want you guys to be thinking, man, I need to isolate, isolate x, and we've got some techniques to do so. To isolate the variable, if we have addition, remember to use subtraction. Then if you have subtraction, use addition. If you have multiplication, use division. If you have division, use multiplication. What happens if something is squared? How do we undo a square? Good, we take the square root. And then how do we undo a square root? You, you would have to take that whole thing and square both sides. Okay, so these are all the, the tools that we have to isolate x to do this. Don't forget that this is your goal. All right, so to get rid of the a, we can use backtracking like we did. What's being done to the variable? Well, it's being multiplied by 2, then added by 6, right? So let's just work backwards. Subtract 6 and then divide by 2, okay? So first I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides. 12 minus 6 is going to be 6, and then I've got the 2a. Then divide both sides by 2. So then a equals 6 divided by 2, which is 3. <coughs> Excuse me. Next, we have parentheses. So sometimes whenever you're solving an equation, you have to simplify. So you have to do things that we did with expressions. So 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times negative 2, that'll be negative 4 B. Okay, and then we have to bring down this negative 3. This side's not simplified all the way yet, so before we, we bring this equal sign and try to solve this, we need to still simplify. We have like terms, the 2 and the negative 3. That's going to be a party or a war? War. War, good. The negative wins by 1. So we have negative 4B minus 1. Now we can bring down that 7 and uh, go ahead and solve it like we did on number 28. What's being done to the variable? Multiplied by negative 4, then subtracted by 1. So we're going to add 1 to both sides. Those zero out, those cancel. You're going to have 7 plus 1, which is 8, equals negative 4b. This is where a lot of people make their mistakes, so pay attention. Right here, this is multiplication, not subtraction, even though there's a negative sign in, in front of the 4. So to undo this multiplication, we're going to divide by the same exact number that's in front, negative 4. Don't forget that on this side, we have to divide by negative 4 as well. A positive divided by a negative is a negative. So we have negative 2 equals uh, b. Okay. Now you could write it like this, or remember, we could write it like this. It's the same difference. Over here, do you guys know what's being done to the variable? Let's list it out. First, it's being divided by 5. Then, subtracted by 2. And that's it. So to solve this one, we're going to work backwards. We're going to first add 2 to get rid of this one. So add 2 to both sides of the equation. Notice I'm going on to either side of the equal sign. Okay, so that cancels. And then I've got 21 plus 2, which is 23. And then I've got g over 5. How do you undo division? Good, multiplication. So multiply both sides by 5. So 5 divided by 5, that cancels, and that looks like a 9, but that's a g. G equals, what is 23 times 5? Anybody know this one? What is it? 115? Good. Bam. Okay, number 31. Same deal, but now we've got variables on both sides. So I'm going to move this party over on this side here. 
Actually, what I can do is just I'll block it. There we go. So simplify by doing the distributive property, getting rid of the parentheses on both sides. So 3m plus 6 equals 12m. That's that. Uh, uh, that's a m minus 12 times 2, which is negative 24. Okay. Now take care of the variables first, man. I don't know how you guys always forget that. Get the variables over to one side first. Now I would do the three. Why? First. Why would I move the three? Because you're going to end up with a positive variable. Now you can move the 12 over. That's fine. But uh, move the three. So we're going to subtract three from this side and subtract the 3m from this side. That cancels that out, and we're left with just 6 over on this side. Then 12 minus 3, that'll give me the 9. And that's kind of what I want. I want a positive variable with uh, um, because you guys always make the mistake right there whenever there's a negative. Okay, so now I have to get rid of the 24, so I'm going to add 24 to both sides. So that's gone. All I have left now is the 9m, and then 24 plus 6, that'll give me 30. How do I get rid of the 9? Divide both sides by 9. So that cancels. And then we have, we're left with a fraction. So we have m equals 30 over 9. Now we could change this. 9 goes into 30 three times. <coughs> 3 times uh, 9 is 27. <clears throat> and there's 3 left over to get that top part. Okay, now that reduces. So we have 3 and 1 third. That's that answer. All right, let's do number 32. Uh, so there's no parentheses, so we don't have to distribute, but we do have like terms on this side. 8 minus 5. So 8 nachos, and then someone ate 5 of those nachos, so that you'd be left with 3 nachos, right? And then plus 8. Over here, we've got 2 nachos and 4 nachos. So if you had 2 nachos and your girlfriend had 4 nachos, uh, then how many nachos do you guys have together? You got six nachos. All right, take care of the variables first before you do any of the numbers. So subtract the three. Now, why, do, why am I going to subtract this three? And over here, I subtracted the three from this side over on. What do you think? Well, yeah, there's nothing over here. That's, that's the first thing. There's no constant term over here. And then also, I want to make sure that I, I, I stay positive, okay? So I, I subtract the 3n over here, and I, I'm left with a positive 3n when I subtract those. Divide both sides by 3. Nope, 3. And so n equals 8 over 3. That's a 3 right there. You guys can see that, right? I just write in different languages sometimes. Okay, so 3 goes into 8 twice. 2 times, two times 3. 2 times 3 is 6, and then there's 2 more up top. So 2 and, and uh, 2 thirds. All right, number 33, it says, consider this number trick. Choose any number, x. Multiply it by 3, done. Add 5, no problem. Now we've got to multiply all that by 2. And then it says divide by 6. Okay, so I've got this expression right here, 2 times 3x plus 5 divided by 6. Let's go ahead and just simplify this right now since we're here. Uh, that'll be 6x plus 10 divided by 6. Now you could simplify it like this or there's another technique that, um, do you guys see how there's a 2 right here and then 6 is the same thing as 2 times 3. Okay, so you could uh, you could divide out this right here and then we'd be left with 3x plus 5 divided by 3. Now we can't divide the 3's because we have this addition. So uh, we'll just keep this we'll just keep this like this. Okay now down here it says let your starting number equal x. Record the steps using the algebraic expression. So we're gonna keep this in our mind. I want you guys to remember that. 3x plus 5 divided by 3. Oh I guess that was it. Is that all we had to do? But you're starting to, oh yeah, okay, so this, this is it, man. And then, so, record the steps using an algebraic expression. Yeah, I guess that's it. That was easy. 
Okay, number 34. It says solve the equation. So we're going to distribute 6a plus 12 minus 5. Before I get to the other side, let's simplify. This is 6a, 12 minus 5 is 7, equals 6a plus 9. So right here, uh, well, the 6a, if I subtract 6 apples from 6 apples, then I'm left with no apples, right? So we're left with on this side a 7, then the equals, and then 9. Now, does 7 equal 9? No. So then what do we say? Well, not, not false. Good. No solution. Okay, so number 34 is a no solution. Over here, let's try this. 7 times 7, that's going to be 49C. 7 times 1, that's going to be 7. And so I've got 49C plus 7. So on either side, we've got, well, let's take care of these first. Uh, that should be a 9. So minus 49C, that's gone. Minus 49C, that's gone. So now, in this case, we're left with 7 equals 7. Not the same thing here, okay? We've got, we've got 7 equals 7 down here, and we've got 7 equals 9. Now, 7 doesn't equal 9. That's why it's no solution. So what do we put up here whenever it's 7 equals 7? Well, infinitely many, or we can say all real numbers as well, okay? What that means is that any number that you substitute in here is going to work. You can even substitute in pi, and it'll work. Okay, not like the food, but you guys know what I mean. Okay, so consider the following equation. It says solve for x. Solve for x, remember solving just means to isolate. Okay, a lot of people were getting like kind of weirded out by this one. You're not solving for, look, y is still going to be there. It's not going to disappear. All right, so what we're going to do is just isolate the x, and I'm going to, Add 12y first. Okay, so I've got 9x equals 36 plus 12y. How do I undo this 9? How do I get rid of that thing? Because I just need the x by itself. Yeah, divide both sides by 9. Okay, so we have x equals 36 plus 12y divided by 9. Okay, so the x is by itself, it's isolated, which, I mean, I'm cool with that. Now, there is a common factor here. I don't know if uh, on the test we're going to have you guys simplify this, but this could all simplify by 3, okay, if you wanted to do that and simplify it even more. Okay, but I think I'd be happy with just this answer.